Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really happy you were able to stop by. Today I want to show you my greenhouse. My greenhouse that my husband and my sons actually have been building for me throughout the summer. I found some windows that somebody was getting rid of. I guess they redid the windows in their home and they put these windows out by the side of the road and I went and I picked them all up and now it's a greenhouse for me. I am so excited about it. I've been telling you guys about this greenhouse. I have all of my plants in there. And if you watch one, some of my previous videos, you know that I just have, I just got some kittens. And so none of these plants could really go inside without causing a problem with them because most of them are not pet friendly. So I was happy that I had some place to put them. Everything worked out really well. Um, it's just it's exciting i'm happy that you're here to see how it turned out and really i'm not planning on finishing this this year i'm going to paint it but i'll probably wait until the springtime to paint the exterior but for right now i'm just content with the way that it is everything is fine my um, husband worked on it a little bit at a time when he would get home from work and then you know of course my sons would help him when he would be working on the greenhouse really happy about it so now let's go inside and see what's going on in there are all the plants that were spread out throughout my house and they've all been in here for about two months now and when I say the growth on these plants have taken off tremendously I can't even emphasize how much they have grown since they've been in here I went through and I counted and I believe there are only five plants in here that you guys have not seen everything else was in my home and you've seen these plants before um, I think this one right here I didn't show it to you in my home but this is the billetier that I found in Home Depot she is already putting out a new leaf and she's laying back right there that's where she's bending to and I'm really excited about her um, this is my pink princess guys. She's not staked up. Well, she's not staked on a pole She's just on this stick to keep her stable, but her leaves have sized up tremendously She doesn't have a lot of pink on her on her two latest leaves But because this is the other one that came out before that last one, but she's really really big and yes These plants all have treatments on them because I don't want them to end up with bugs and so I can't take the treatment off. I thought about washing the treatment off of them while I was showing you guys for the first time but you guys know that the bugs are really hunkering down right now looking for a place to lay their litter for next spring and I just don't want to give them access to an organic salad bar in here so um, I have to leave the treatment on them. Now this was the last pinky pinky leaf that this plant put out and I'm so it's so beautiful but I'm looking at this new leaf emerging on this pink princess and it does have more pink on it and I am so excited about the growth on these plants. This plant right here this is from my plant curtain. This is my exotica. I just cut this and it grew all of this unbelievable you can see where I just cut it right there and it just grew all of these new leaves the leaves are nice and big so exciting I can't tell you how happy I am when I come in here and I just sit right here in my chair and outside of the door I have my um, my raised bed that I had all of my cuttings in I'll show you a picture 
of how the cuttings did. I already brought them in because we've been getting a ton of rain. And so it hasn't been a good time for me to record the things that I've been doing in Eden. But I did take them out and I took pictures um, of how it started off and then how it turned out. And some of the plants that I planted up there in here and they're still doing well. And I also have Big Mo sitting right there and Big Mo's doing really well. She opened up two really big leaves while she was outside. So I'm happy about that. She needs to be repotted, but I'm just letting her treatment sit on her first. Um, and over here, these are all my plant curtain pots. And this is a Hoya that I purchased on clearance three months ago. I brought it home. It was so sad looking. And it is in love with this greenhouse because it was one of the first plants I put in here because it never it couldn't come into my house house it was on the clearance section looking really weak and so I didn't want to bring it into my house it never missed a beat I just treated it as if it had pest but I think it was actually just overwatered, and now it is doing so well and I didn't have this variety so it was I was happy to find it and while I have it down I will show you my philodendron mayoi that I have as a trailing plant. I have one as a trailing plant, one as a climbing plant that Rosling gave me and this trailing plant is just doing so well. I love it. Look how long she is. Let me put this one back. Okay. Now let's see what we find through here. This is another one that I didn't share with you yet. This is a peperomia something lala angulala and I purchased this for $8.99 in Trader Joe's about a month ago. And she's doing really well. She hasn't flowered yet though. But I do find that she's very dry, like almost as if she needs to be... I don't know if she needs to be repotted or if it's just the heat in here because it is pretty hot in here. It stays at about... at nighttime it gets down to 76, but during the day it's at about 80 degrees. 80, 82 degrees. Now this is something that was in my raised bed and I'm sure by now I've showed you the picture of the raised bed once I um, took it out took the plants out and she is still doing really really well I love this plant my mother-in-law just came in and saw it and this is the one that she gave me so I was so proud to show her that I still had the plant that she gave me this is a string of hearts that I purchased in Home Depot was it and I did haul this with you guys She's getting really, really long, but I think I will end up cutting her. She's in bloom right now, so she's making a mess, but that's okay. But I think I will probably cut her right to there. Then over here, I have just a bunch of random pots. All things that you've seen before. This one you have not seen before. This one I purchased in Shakespeare's Garden. And she is gorgeous. Look at her sun stressing. She is so beautiful. Carol got me into jungle cactus and I just love them so much I didn't even realize that this one right here is growing all the way out over here oh my look at that she is growing so much and then Carol gave me like this right here and this one and I combined some of them they are so pretty they're just scattered throughout here once I saw once I saw this one in the plant shop I realized that I could give these plants a lot more Sun so I have some, I have, this is a Hoya back here that I got on a Facebook Marketplace purchase as a Facebook Marketplace purchase. And this is a, I believe a white fang or something like that, begonia. And she has beautiful pink flowers. Oh guys, I love these flowers. Yesterday they weren't open. Today's the first day that they're open. Aren't they pretty? my varicosum back there I thought she was gonna die but she didn't she's doing really well she's growing a new leaf I'm so happy oh and this is a courtesy curtisi that I just got in Home Depot for $16.99 it is so full and happy and I am so excited it already had the yellow leaves my courtesy that I've had for a few years I'm gonna show it to you yeah isn't she pretty ah so happy so 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 happy let's see what else oh there's my um Wyetii Hoya back there she's getting really long and oh 
the elephant in the room literally elephant <laughs> elephant ear this is my alocasia longiloba i can't even get the entire leaf into in the view wow look at that she's huge and she sits right in front of the fan because of course you know how alocasia are about pests so i have her right in front of the fan and i treat her regularly i have a little water fountain down here keeping the moisture nice and high ah uh, let's see this is another begonia right here and again you've seen all of these things but it's just exciting i just i can't help but want to share it with you look at the size of this massive regal shield leaf this is the latest leaf on this plant and it is huge it's huge i love it i love this so much okay this is my monstera dandeliana and she is not staked up, but her leaves are still staying nice and big. I love that. And I do have curtains in here because they could probably be opened right now, but in the summertime, it was entirely too hot for them for the wind, with the windows. It, was, it would have burned all of my leaves. This is my Pegasus begonia that I got. This is a proven winner's plant. And she's like spread out all over the place. And she is in no drainage to keep up with her watering needs. Um, what else? Oh, I finally have a strawberry begonia. Look at this. This was on clearance again. And she looks so sad. But now she looks so good. She's even putting out little babies. So exciting. Let's see. Uh, What else do I have up here? Oh, I have string of hooks, string of bananas over here. And when I am treating these plants, all I do is take my, my spray nozzle and I just spray everything. And then I walk away. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, this is my favorite spot to stand and to look up at my plants. I have all of my like cactus and things like that, the full sun um, items over there so that they can absorb a lot of, and filter out the light so that's not too much. And this is my view from the inside. Yay! <laughs> I just love this so much. I sit here in the morning time and I have coffee. Right now I have some plants on my table because these are all the plants that I wanted to keep a close eye on. And so they are sitting on this table. Um, this one right here is this Longiloba. This was one that I was supposed to share in a trade, but I've traded with the woman before on Facebook Marketplace. But our schedules are so busy. And so we were when she was available, I was not available. When I'm available, she wasn't available. And so that was just the issue that we had. But when I offered this to her, this was a quorum that I had. It was so tiny. And she came in here and just exploded with growth. The original leaf that was on her isn't even there anymore. These are all new leaves. Okay. And then I have a, a Tunderosa right here. This is the um, Green Dragon or dragon scale that I repotted with you guys she is no longer going through her um, dorm not dormant but her shock phase after being repotted into semi hydro she's doing really well um, let's see this is another one that I changed over to semi hydro and so I had her sitting here just so I could see how she handled it uh, I see a plant out in Eden that needs to be watered <laughs> I love that plant and then I have some plants down here that I've potted up and again they all have treatment on them look at this look how much how much this plant loves it out here it is doing so well look at this Amazonica I believe oh she needs to be watered she feels a little bit soft she needs to be watered and I do see a new leaf in there emerging which means I need to water her today over here I have a chantieri that I killed the mother plant, but then I had some corms, and she just spit out her babies, and she's doing well. Let's see. Down here, I have um, one of the offsets of my Radican Lux Anthurium. More begonia, tons more begonia over here. And down at the bottom, I have a whole lot of begonia because these are all begonia that were in Eden and they all got really, really big. There's another Red Lux baby right there. And 
this is my black one of my black velvets here's another begonia this is my jive begonia and then this is the um, syngonium that I found at this grocery store and it was I can't it didn't have a label of what it was called but from what I'm seeing online this is a pink ice and the pink ice has a strawberry it's either a pink ice or a strawberry ice but this right here it has fabulous variegation on it the white goes all the way through it definitely grows very differently from the other syngonium that I have it's a lot more of a slow grower but boy is it gorgeous and I have to show you guys my favorite begonia in my collection she's right here break dance look at her beautiful leaves isn't that beautiful and unique that is such a beautiful plant oh my goodness look at her oh she has a leaf that is hanging I don't believe I've seen her bloom yet but maybe soon <laughs> and then I have my SP Columbia that is doing really well right over here and I think that's it oh my Hilo or well, my Hilo Beauty I think um, Carlos calls it the Hilo Beauty um, this right here has never done well for me I have been sub this plant has never ever ever gone with more than two leaves and the second leaf was always looking like it was on its way out but now she has three leaves and she didn't check out I'm so excited about that this is another plant that I have not showed you I bought this in Trader Joe's and she is so pretty and when I bought her she had some damaged leaves but I didn't realize it because it was wrapped up in paper so when I brought it in here I just cut the leaves off and it seems like as soon as I cut those leaves off this one right here just popped out so I was like so excited about it <laughs> this is my sister's discolor I am so happy I finally found out what this plant wants it does not want a bunch of Sun it wants more more dappled sun you see how covered it I mean look how covered this plant is it was doing terribly when it was in the Sun and it also needs to eat constantly or drink constantly and then this is my begonia that I had in my plant cabinet when it fell and I brought it out here and she's doing very very well and there are lots of things back here I mean look at this thing look at that look at that Birkin she's all shaded and she's still doing so well I just love this space guys I have been really looking forward to sharing the space with you because it truly makes me so happy especially since I know how hard my husband and my sons worked to get this ready for me and when I say perfect timing I mean perfect timing because my kittens would be they would be having a field day on these plants so I'm really happy about it I have um, I've sold a few cuttings of some of my plants and they were coming down and someone wanted to buy some of my plants so I said oh okay that's fine <laughs> I mean it's just it's ideal for everything just like for me to enjoy my plants and even when I have the, as I have them out here it is so much easier for me to pest treat because I literally can just spray it and not worry about anybody you know feeling oh I don't like the way that smells or anything like that although it smells really good in here it smells like peppermint but I put a little bit of diatomaceous earth on the back into the mixture I sprayed the last time and what I did was I put it in my mixture so that it goes on wet and then it dries and that's when it gets to the pest so whereas I just feel like I saw something on that leaf there was nothing moving because there's diatomaceous earth on the plant and I don't come in here I have in the beginning when I put the diatomaceous earth on the plants I came in here and I would always have a mask on because I don't want to inhale it just in case I ruffle past something and it's and you know I don't want to like you know put it into the air but for right now and for the next month these plants will all have a heavy treatment on them because I just don't want them to start you know collecting bugs and then I, I, I won't feel, I won't enjoy this space at all because I, I don't want to just be in here with a bunch of bugs so there you have it guys thank you so much for being here today i am so excited about this space i am happy that i have plants from ceiling to floor and it's not in anyone else's space 
It is just my little space. I have two chairs in here, the one I'm sitting in and this little tiny baby chair that I use as a step stool, but I am perfectly fine sitting there and just fixing and going through my lower shelves and just enjoying my plant collection. This is like a dream come true. It really is. Look at these blooms. Ah, oh, Guys, I hope you have a happy day. I'm gonna leave you with these pink flowers so that you can be happy like me. <laughs> okay guys, happy today to you. Enjoy your day. Bye.